hello students myself job bandavadhar and uh, today we are going to discuss another numerical and power system stability so let us look at the numerical there is a 50 hertz four pole turbo generator which is rated at 100 mva 11 kV and has an inertia constant of 8 megajoules per MVA. Determine number one the stored energy in the rotor at synchronous speed. Number two, if the mechanical input is suddenly raised to 800 to sorry 80 megawatt for for an electrical load of 50 megawatt, find rotor acceleration neglecting mechanical and electrical losses. So here we have to simply uh, neglect the losses. Okay. So at first, uh, let us focus on the data that are provided to us in the numerical. First is frequency, 50 hertz. Number of poles, 4. Then G is the machine rating. That is in MVA, which is given as 100 MVA. And the generator is rated for 11 kV and uh, h is our inertia constant which is given as 8 megajoules per mva so with the help of g and h we can calculate our kinetic energy at normal under normal conditions so kinetic energy is equals to we know gh from the previous numerical also we uh, we utilize this uh, formula to calculate our kinetic energy so g into h g is 100 there is machine rating which is given in mva into your inertia constant h so it comes out to be 800 megajoules <clears throat> then number two at first uh, under normal conditions we know that under normal conditions input power and output power are always equal to each other so depending on that we can uh, analyze our accelerating power accelerating power of a generator is given as your uh, pag is equals to ps minus pe what is ps now uh, it is the input power what is p it is the output power so under normal conditions as both the powers are always equal to each other hence PAG comes out to be zero so even though it won't be given directly to you but to uh, take into confidence the examiner you have to illustrate it like this okay that uh, under normal conditions as because input and output are always equal to each other neglecting losses hence uh, 50 megawatt was your input power 50 megawatt was your output power initially under normal conditions so pH is zero so no acceleration or deacceleration so no disturbances isn't it so no swings of the machine but now as per the question they have already said that if the mechanical input is suddenly raised to 80 megawatt that means what is our input here ps you know ps is our mechanical input power p is the electrical output power however the mechanical input power can be taken as equivalent to electrical power so uh, ps is equals to 80 megawatt for an electrical load of 50 megawatt whereas your output power remains the same of the generator that is p is equals to 50 megawatt so now you can calculate your accelerating power again under such a condition so ps minus p that means 80 minus 50 is 30 megawatt so pag is plus 30 megawatt whenever pag is positive it means that it will be defined as an accelerating force now after that you can take your conventional equations of uh, stability that is pg is equals to m into alpha m is your angular momentum alpha is your angular acceleration from there you can find out your alpha is equals to pg by m now how to find out your uh, m now m is equals to gh by 180f okay so gh initially we calculated 800 so 800 divided by 180 and frequency 50 so it comes out to be 4 by 45 megajoule second per electrical degree so after this you can easily calculate your you can easily calculate your alpha alpha is equals to pag by m so pg is 30 m is 4 by 45 so that comes out to be 337.5 electrical degree per second square thanks to your uh, the positive value of pag which is 30 megawatt so that's it for today thank you